In this video, you will learn the difference between solid modeling and surface modeling in CAD. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, you will get mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there's a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. Maybe you have wondered so what is NURBS, what is CAD modeling, right? Because surface modeling is a subsection of CAD and NURBS and when you bought maybe plasticity or maybe you looked up a little bit about CAD modeling but you don't really understand what exactly that means and in this module, we will just go very briefly about the difference of 3D modeling and what that means. So we have the big section 3D modeling, right? So we have 3D animation, we have 3D rendering, we have those different things. And 3D modeling is, mm, you can split 3D modeling in <clears throat> three main categories. I know there are much more, but if it really comes down to three, they are the following. So you have sculpting. So uh, sculpting, so ZBrush or in Blender, the sculpting mimics traditional sculpting and it's mostly used for high, uh, highly detailed organic shapes. So characters, I don't know, monsters, people, faces, sculpting uh, and similar things. Then, so what most of you are familiar with is because usually most people start with polygons or in Blender Cinema 4D. So there's <clears throat> polygon modeling. Um, so in polygon, we use those polygons to build the models. And it's very flexible and efficient for creative industries because especially with subdivision modeling and quads, what we can do, we can deform this um, objects. We can texture them very easily and we can unwrap that everything very easy. And it's just mostly used in the yeah, creative visual industries. And then we have NURBS and or CAD. So it's basically kind of the same. But this is very different from everything else because we use or NURBS uses mathematical formulas for the super precision and NURBS and CAD modeling is mostly used in engineering, manufacturing again where precision and to work exactly is very important, right? Because in polygon modeling, it's not for production, manufacturing uh, use, right? And also NURBS CAD is um, used in design. So product design, automotive, aero, because again of the precision and we will cover in a second why it is so precise, why it is mainly used in also in design. So if we focus now on NURBS and CAD, right? Because we will talk about surface modeling. So this is a section of NURBS and CAD. NURBS is also split in two main categories. I know, again, there are many, many more, but if we really simplify and break it down, <clears throat> they are, in my opinion, or objectively, two main categories. So first of all, we have solid modeling. And solid modeling, we will cover that in a second what this is, but this is again much more used in the manufacturing, in engineering, 
but also in the artistic industry. So for concept sci-fi, so those are some examples of one of my beginner uh, sci-fi course. And this is one section. And the other section is surface modeling. And surface modeling is used for something completely different. It's much more used for design, aesthetics, and they both have very clear purposes and they are very good distinguished. So this is very interesting. So it's not like, or they are very similar and you use sometimes that and sometimes that in that case. No, I would say they are very clearly split from apart and they have their own purpose. And maybe, so it's still not exactly clear what is NURBS and CAD, right? So let's have a little bit of a deeper look in what NURBS and this whole mathematical precision actually means. And again, so there's a lot of very theoretical things to say, but again, I didn't need that to to master 3D modeling in plasticity. You don't need that. If that's interesting for you, you, there's many, many resources, amazing articles, YouTube videos. I will just cover it very general and briefly so you just have an overall understanding without going too deep into into all the theory because that's not the point of this course. But NURBS modeling is... Uh, stays for non-uniform <laughs> rational B splines. And again, this is a mathematical representations that accurately describe any shape from a simple 2D line, circle, arc, or complex 3D organic surfaces and solids. So what does that mean? We will find out in a second. Also, what's important about NURBS, so what I told you already is why it's used in engineering, manufacturing, design is because of the precision and flexibility. NURBS modeling is known for its precision and ability to create smooth, intricate curves and surfaces. And this is ideal for industrial applications where accuracy is important. So if we check out those two examples, we have on the left the NURBS example of a sphere. And in NURBS, If we have a sphere, then it is a visual representation of mathematics and what mathematics describe as a sphere. So I I don't know a lot of mathematics, but it's like very, very technical. So a mathematical equation to represent a surface. And... This sphere, because it's a mathematical representation of some formulas and mathematics itself, it's a perfect sphere. Whereas in polygon modeling, we have, or you know it, that you have a mesh of polygons to build up surfaces, right? So here we just have a very few uh, polygons. So it's very jacked. Of course, we can go like to 1 million polygons, then it will look smooth, but it's still not a perfect uh, s- sphere as it would be with NURBS because in polygons it's literally just triangles or quads which are aligned so you it can always lead to visible edges or faceting especially if you zoom in and again for creative purposes for games this is absolutely enough and what you want but if you want precision you have to work with the laws of the universe with mathematics for example and that's why also NURBS and CAT can easily handle really complex and high detailed models due to its reliance on mathematical precision so again we don't have millions and millions and millions of polygons especially if you go into something super crazy detailed like when you build environments with a lot of detail, then polygon modeling is directly correlated with the complexity and and detail to the number of polygons, if this sentence makes sense, right? So polygon modeling, especially if you create huge environments, can become computational very heavy. But in NURBS CAD modeling, usually it works much 
better, much easier. You can create a crazy amount of details without any yeah, performance issues. Now we know a little bit more about NURBS modeling. And let's get back and break down solid modeling now and surface modeling. And let's start in our next module just to understand better what is solid modeling. So we exactly know the differences and then you can also decide if you want to learn surface modeling or if you are interested more in solid modeling and what all this is about. So see you in the next module. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.